have a, a stew credo. It is this. The stewer will never miss an opportunity to create flavor. With that in mind, we uh, toss our meat with a tablespoon of kosher salt and sear it on a hot cast iron griddle. And now for the paste. Whisk together a quarter of a cup of tomato paste with a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I like the unfiltered kind. And a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce, one and a uh, half teaspoons. Love that smoky, fermented fish flavor that gives out there. <laughs> we also need some herbs, uh, just mixed herb. I'd say a teaspoon and a half of anything uh, containing uh, some oregano and some, uh, some thyme and some rosemary. There we go. Last but not least, one tablespoon of either hot, smoked, or sweet paprika. Now, when your paste <laughs> is thoroughly whisked and the meat is thoroughly brown, toss one into the other. I believe that heavy duty aluminum foil would be the first choice for a braise like this. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, cooking tomato products in aluminum is insane because the acid dissolves the metal. Well, you're right. A few little aluminum ions may slip out of their normal place, but it would take a very, very long time for that leaching to reach anything close to a toxic level. Months, probably. Now, a tight seal is important, so crimp all the way down one side and then crimp up both of the ends. Our little bundle of joy goes in a cold oven, and I'm going to slide a little pan and set under it just in case there's any uh, dripping. We will set for 250 degrees. Now, the total cooking time is going to be right at four hours. Time's up, my luscious lovelies. Now, our little uh, metallic parcel here doesn't just bear one precious commodity, but three. That's right, there's the meat, of course, but there's also the, uh, the liquid and the, uh, the fat that uh, cooked out, so we want those badly. They are full of goodness. I'm just gonna open up the end of this and let that drain out. Aluminum cools down pretty quickly. Ah, there we go. Now the, uh, the meat, we want to uh, cool, so I'm just gonna move that up to a cooling rack. We're gonna leave it here on the counter for an hour. And this liquid, uh, we need to get into something that's a little easier to, uh, to handle, so I'm gonna drain that into this beaker. And then we will move this to the refrigerator. Well, that's what we're looking for. No, not that. That. That nice solidified disc of highly flavored beef fat, which is settled on top. And I just use a little <coughs> knife and pop that right out. Now, if uh, it doesn't solidify properly in the uh, refrigerator, you can always stick it down into the freezer for a little while. Finally, we assemble the finished dish. Wow. Just a large saucier or saute pan over medium heat and drop in about a tablespoon's worth of your, uh, your fat pot. Uh, that can refrigerate the uh, rest for some other delectable application. Waka, 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 waka. Wow. While that's uh, melts, let's uh, harvest the sandwiches. Peel and slice the one large yellow or white onion. Next, wow. we have one when the fat is good and hot, add your wow. onions along with a big fat pinch of kosher salt and uh, break the uh, slices up into wow. rings. Then drain and add the uh, potatoes along with a healthy grind of black pepper. Next in the pot, the reserve.